So today, just a, a quick video on some excess oil that we're getting down the side, the left-hand side of the engine as you look at it. And there's normally a couple of culprits for this. Um, the first one is the breather pipe that comes from the outlet here and joins further down there. And it's this pipe that's shaped like that. Now, I've took this off already, quick inspection, and you can see that there's quite a big split at the top half of the hose, and that is in fact where it's leaking from. So I will order a new one for now. Uh, it'll have to remain in situ. So I'll just clean all these up and pop that back on, but that's, that's definitely one to check. So take the pipe off, clean it down, have a look. And uh, sometimes either the seal isn't very good around the Jubilee clip, or in fact, they crack like this one has done. That's the first thing. The second thing is this plastic part here, which is often called uh, crankcase breather filter or cyclone, uh, whichever one you want to call it. Easy enough to get off. Undo the Jubilee clip on the top of this hose, pull that off. There's one at the bottom there that you pull off. And then there's a eight mil bolt that goes through here into the top towards the rocker. And basically once you've undone that, give it a bit of a, a jiggle and it should come off. Now you can see here that there's already some some residue around there. So I'm guessing somebody at some point has put some sealant on. It's quite a common thing. Uh, what I tend to do, because this is nice and loose already, I take this off. I will put a new O-ring around here. And the easiest thing I find is to clean it in petrol. Give it a real good clean up, let it soak in there, which this one has been for a while. You can see the color of the petrol now. Let it dry thoroughly pop it back into place and then the final thing to check if you need to is actually the rocker cover gasket itself which this one looks all right so i'll give everything a good clean up pop it all back together and hopefully that's job done for this right so we've cleaned up all of the side of the rocker now so you can see all down here what i've done is i've just used a bit of petrol on a rag cleaned it all down and then i will know in the next coming few weeks if there's going to be any more or you're leaking from the top of these the last thing to do then is to replace the O-ring. So you can see here, that was the, the O-ring that was on uh, and that fits on here. So this is the part that slides back in. And that O-ring is now, yeah, it's had it. It's got a couple of cracks in, um, it's not very good. So what we're gonna do, I always keep a packet of these, um, get a replacement O-ring. Now this one is a bit smaller um, but it's thicker and actually we'll just do a quick test to see if it goes over the top And it does so that's got a nice fit now nice seal on there So we'll just double check it So we'll slide it into there And then yeah, that's nice. You could feel that was a much better a better seal on there now we've pushed that in so the bolt goes back through here reconnect your pipe down there reconnect this one at the top there put on that joint and we'll be about done all right so we're all back together so just a quick recap undo this top hose here you've got just around the corner an eight mil there's certainly eight mil on this i think i have actually known them to be seven mil sometimes but you've got an eight mil bolt that screws through this part into there you undo that undo the bottom hose and then your crankcase breather filter or cyclone filter whatever you want to call it should pop out give it a good clean with some petrol uh, let it sit for a while let it air dry pop it back on then remove this hose undoing the jubilee at the top and the bottom clean it all down Clean all the side of the rocker off to make sure there's no residue left and then you can keep an eye on it to see if there's any future oil leaks. And that's it. Okay, so everything's back together now and just got the engine ticking over. There's no immediate signs of any leaks or anything. You wouldn't normally expect there to be, to be honest, uh, unless for any reason the O-ring hadn't um, seated properly. But apart from that, looks good. So we'll give it a couple of weeks now. Make sure there's no further leaks. I will change that pipe, as I've said. Um, but there we go. That's another job done. Hope that was of some help. Thanks for watching.